Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be presenting to you the SIM software and I'm going to show you exactly why it is the best product to help you manage your inventory. If you want more information about the product or even want a personalized demonstration of your SIM system, please feel free to contact us. For today's example, we're going to imagine that we are a service maintenance company like an auto body shop or an HVAC supply store. Now we, as the owner, use SIM to track the daily inventory management of our whole company. Our main worries day to day are knowing number one, our real time inventory stock levels and two, to forecast properly as to best avoid all stock outs. Let's see how best we can achieve these two goals by using the handy dandy SIM software. Okay, so we are now in the SIM software. And now we at our service maintenance company have been able to import all of the current product data thanks to the simple Excel import option. You will now see that all product is classified by the following. Category, barcode, description, supplier, quantity, we also have the ability to set a minimum or a safety stock and have the alarm column trigger us uh, whenever we breach that minimum. And we have many more columns like location and unit price that are all pretty self-explanatory. So now that we have all the different types of inventory we're going to be doing business with, we're going to show you how to scan in or receive a specific quantity of a product. Now you can normally do this with the use of barcode readers like this, the Opticon OPH3001, the DCR40, or our Salty Scan app for Android and iOS. But now we will do it with the button within the software. So first you are going to select a line, then you're going to select add in stock. Now you see you get all the info about the product here. You select the quantity you want to add for that specific unit. You got some extra actions over here if you want to print a quote or an extra product list or something. But really once you enter the quantity, then you want to hit add. And the quantity that you have added is then entered in your stock. Now you can also add other products without changing screens like I am doing here. Do the same process where you click add after you enter the quantity and then when you're done just make sure you hit save. Now if you want to remove an item from stock it's the same basic process. You click on the line then you can click the remove button or you can go over you right click on the line itself it'll highlight and you hit remove. Now in this screen you enter the quantity that is going to be removed or sold. Uh, in this screen also you can pick a user or what we call is a customer. Uh, you select the customer in this case it's Salty Software. It is us you have the quantity, then you hit save, and the item is removed from your shelf. And just like that, you are now an expert at adding and removing products. Now we are going to show you and give you a quick demo on the most important feature of the entire thing, the log. So this is the area of the software that records every single transaction that goes on in your business that involves the software. So the orange line is represented by the fact that we took out or sold a number of our pieces of inventory, uh, in this case the PC-129s, right? Um, the greens are indicated that we had input inventory into our shelves. Now this is the most interesting part about this whole thing is that this is where you can conduct research. So to achieve the research you want, you're going to use the filter ribbons that are at the top of the page. So for this specifically say we want to know all the outputs. So we type out in the type category and then we want to filter by a specific customer, say salty. And then we want to know between a specific period, uh, say that day and this day. And then we're going to hit all filters. And then it's going to filter out all the specific information that fits our criteria that we searched. Very similar to an advanced filter in Excel. Uh, very easy, very utilitarian to use. In the log as well, using our filters, we can also export the data that we have gathered to do sort of advanced analysis on it if we want to send it to Excel. So now that we've seen some of the functionalities of the logbook and the inventory software, we're going to see how we can print labels for each individual product using the SIM software. So the first way to do is like something we've seen before. You click on the line and then you right click on the row and then you hit print barcode. Pretty simple. The next way is you go up to the label tab up top, then you select the category. This is where you're searching through your products, your reference code, uh, the description, and then you go over to hit the print button and it'll 
print the whole label or you can go create the list and print the whole list if you have multiple. So the last thing we'll show you how to do is how to do a physical inventory of all of your all of your products. Now I know this is everybody's favorite time of year where everybody gets out and the whole office is helping count the physical inventory, but knowing how to do it in your software is going to help you in the long run. So basically your products tab again is where you store all of your basic product information. So you're going to grow, go over to the inventory tab and you're going to click new, just like I did there. And it's going to copy all of the product information down now the information you get from scanning all of your inventory in your warehouse is going to populate in the real column here and you're going to use that batch button to import all of those uh, all of that data and you're really going to compare that to your quantity to populate the difference column and with that information you're going to use the difference to then justify your actual inventory and by that of course I mean you need to utilize this information to then update your actual on hand inventory. And with that, I would just like to extend a thank you for, uh, for your time on this basic overview of the Salty Simple Inventory Management Software, or SIM for short. There are, of course, many other features you can discover on our website. And if you would like to set up a personal demonstration for your software, please feel free to reach out. Thanks again. Have a good one.